Hey guys, Rush here with a new video. Today, I made another combination lock. Uh, it's a door combination lock, but before I actually get into how it works, I'll show you an example on uh, actually how to do the combination. So, as you can see right here, I'm just clearing out my inventory a little bit, but as you can see right here, I just got this plain area, very simple. We're able to open and close this door right here, okay? Nothing looks uh, out of the ordinary, okay? We can walk in here, okay? We can close this. Uh, we got all this room, this nice, big, poorly built area, and I got a little sky thing right over there. But if we do this, put a put some torch there, uh, you can see that nothing still, ha still did happen, okay? But I can do this. One. And it will open up this door over here. Pretty cool, huh? And right when we place this torch, it will, of course, reset everything automatically. So we can go do this again. And we can do one, two, three. And then the door will open again, okay? Another feature that I did add to this combination lock is... Uh, this over here, we can actually select our combinations. Uh, so right now I have the option for 3, 2, or 1. So if we flip this, you can see that door will close. And then we can select it to 2. And let's, let's change that. Um, so now the combination is 2 to get out. Let's do this, okay? We can reset everything. Okay. Just placing a torch resets everything. And then if we place another torch... It will activate everything. So now we can go one, two, and the door will open. Pretty cool, huh? We can do the same for one here. Uh, just get out. We can reset everything again by just doing that. And we can go one, the... Uh, piston door will activate once again, and then I think I'm going to set it back to 3, okay? So that is my latest creation right now. It's pretty unique. I haven't seen a combination lock um, with a um, door at all, but I'll show you how it works. Okay, so right here, there's a piston right here, if you didn't notice. This is actually a block update detector, and what a block de update detector is, or a BUD, um, it is a device that will detect if a block has been updated and uh, opening and closing a door it will um, it will toggle this piston because opening and closing a, a door is a form of a block update so if I activate the block updater right now by just placing that torch there you can see that um, what I have up here okay this is the block updater uh, it's right here okay so if I do that uh, I guess Hold on one second. Can't do it fast enough. But uh, here, let's do this. If we take out our handy pickaxe and turn on the super pickaxe, you can see that. Uh, I guess it doesn't want to. You can see that it gets it got updated. Okay, so every time we place a block here, it will update, as shown right here. Okay. And same thing will happen with the um, the door. When we open this door, it will activate the block updater, okay, or block update detector, okay. If you want more information on a bud, I will post a link uh, in the description for my block update detector tutorial, okay. So right here we have a monostable circuit which goes into this ring counter. A ring counter is a device that will let you choose up from to about like four outputs four or five outputs okay uh, another thing I created um, if you would like to see that then I'll put another link in the description so right now we have redstone torches under here okay now we need to get the the solid object or stone over uh, the active redstone torch to activate these pistons right here okay so by doing that we just toggle the door and uh, see, you can see it switched outputs. We need to do this a certain amount of times. 
and then as you can see uh, right when we get it over the torch it will activate these pistons over here okay and uh, what's so cool about the ring counter is that it's not random it's a s um, it goes in a certain sequence which allows us to um, make uh, or set the combination because it is not in a certain order so what we have over here is when we place the redstone torch down over here it will act or it will activate this um, this piston right here so uh, because if you place a redstone torch under a solid object and you place another redstone torch above it it will send out a very fast pulse you can't see it because fraps doesn't catch it but if we were to do it over here you can see that it will send out a very fast pulse uh, causing this piston to toggle out okay like that and how it resets is when it's over this piston it will activate these um, it will activate all these inverters uh, into another monostable circuit which will then activate these two repeaters and I have it all delayed out so this piston will always catch the piece of stone and this is the point where it resets to okay so now when we want to activate the bud switch it will send a signal into this inverter right here allowing this redstone torch to turn on to activate this piece of redstone which will then activate this bud switch right here and this is still at um, this is still at its starting point so and I have the combination set to three so when we open this door one it will switch outputs to right here and as you can see that redstone torch is lit if we do this a second time two it's in the middle now and three okay and now it's over the redstone torch which will then activate those pistons on bottom okay now how the selecting of the combination lock works is when we f flip the lever right here it will invert all these inverters here turning on the redstone torch that is under here okay uh, I can't see anything. I will turn on the redstone torch that's under here. Okay. Now, th because this redstone torch is on, um, when the block is placed over it, it will activate this redstone. Okay. Now, by flipping this, okay, it will turn off this redstone torch. Okay, which means uh, there is no there is no signal going into this redstone. Okay. So right now there is no combination set. But if we want to, let's say, have the combination set to 1, it will invert this redstone torch, causing this one to invert, turning on the redstone torch that is right over here. So now, if we were to reset this by simply doing that, you can see that the piston will reset its position to the original position and because like I said uh, when using the ring counter it is not random the piece of stone will jump to this piston right here okay so if we now toggle the bud switch or turn on the bud switch by doing that we can now see that the bud switch is on this is still in its original position and when we flip the door it will then jump to this okay now how the ring counter works I'll just go a little bit into detail for this um, the position that it will jump into is it will start here or wherever you want to start it I have it starting here so the piece of stone will jump to here then the middle and then to this uh, this piston right here and then back to its starting point okay and like I said I have everything delayed out so when I reset it it will the stone will always end up at the starting point which is this right here okay so yeah that is my uh, combination lock door um, if you guys would like to actually make tutorials in full length explaining on how to actually make things like this for those of you who don't know then uh, just post a comment and I'll start making tutorials like this Okay, and uh, yeah, 
If you like this video, uh, please favorite, uh, show your friends, or subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and uh, what else was I going to talk about? Uh, yeah, if you want me to make something that you don't know to make, uh, then just post a comment down below, and I'll see if I can make that. I'm not too good when it comes to like gates and circuits and stuff like that, but I, I'm pretty good when it comes to like combination locks and all that. Uh, cool stuff and traps. So, thanks for watching. If you guys would like me to uh, make something or challenge me, then just post a comment below and I'll see if I can do that. So, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to check out my other videos and to subscribe. I'll see you guys later.